Not seeing the results you want from bulk SMS? Mass texts don't always have mass appeal. And if you're only sending bulk SMS to your subscribers, not only missing out on maximizing engagement, you're probably leaving revenue on the table too. I'm Patrick from Attentive, where we've worked with over 8,000 leading brands across the globe to increase revenue and ROI from SMS. In this video, I'll walk you through why bulk SMS probably isn't the right approach for your brand and what you can do instead. Let's start with what I mean by bulk SMS. When people think of SMS marketing, they often think of bulk SMS, but they're not actually the same thing. With bulk SMS, you're mass texting or batch and blast texting, which is sending one message to as many subscribers as possible. This might seem like an easy way to drive revenue, but this strategy usually isn't the most effective. Shoppers expect and prefer to get more personalized communication, and when you deliver, they're much more likely to reward you with your loyalty. SMS is a channel built for personal communication and more sophisticated, effective SMS marketing is about connecting with the right subscribers at the right time with the right message. So what are the disadvantages of bulk SMS? Well, bulk SMS might sound cost effective because it's low lift, but when you send the same message to your entire subscriber base, you're missing out on an opportunity to deliver more value to your customers and get them to buy with messages that are relevant and timely for them. Sure. With bulk SMS, you're reaching a lot of people pretty easily, and some of them might actually bite on an offer and convert, but others are going to ignore your message or unsubscribe if they don't think it's relevant. Listen, I'm not saying you should never send SMS campaigns to your full list of subscribers. There are some times when this is gonna make sense. For example, you're just starting to build out your SMS subscriber base, or you have a new and exciting product launch, or a big holiday sale is coming up and most of your subscribers wanna hear about this. But, Bulk SMS isn't a sustainable marketing strategy. To build an effective and sustainable SMS marketing program that goes beyond bulk texting, there are three things you should do. The first is to grow your SMS list quickly and compliantly. The bigger and healthier your list, the more impact you're going to see from SMS. Focus on capturing new subscribers on your website first, and then branch out to other channels like email, social, paid media, and even offline if you have physical stores. But Keep in mind, SMS is a regulated channel with strict standards of compliance and a specific set of rules for each country that you need to follow. So make sure you choose a vendor who's well-versed in compliance and can guide you in navigating local standards. Growing your list the right way isn't only about compliance, it also ensures you're opting in customers who actually want to receive your messages. Once you've got a subscriber list, the second thing you want to do is learn about subscribers' shopping habits and preferences. There are a few ways you can do this. You can use the data you already have, browse history, purchase history, purchase frequency, average order value and engagement are all great data points to look at. And your SMS provider should allow you to easily target customers based on your existing data. You can also add preference collection to your SMS and email signup units. Asking subscribers a question when they opt in, like what categories of your products they're interested in, can help you make sure you're sending them the messages they're most interested in later. You can also ask your subscribers directly what they like or want through two-way text messaging. For example, you can ask them what they're shopping for or how often they want to hear from your brand and save that data to use for segmentation later. The right provider will have the functionality to help you with all three. Whether you're looking to target customers based on existing data, add preference collection to your signup units or engage customers with two-way messaging. Once you have a strong foundation of first and zero-party data, you're ready to create targeted audience segments so you can send them relevant messages that will keep them engaged with and buying from your brand. There are a lot of ways you can segment your audience. Here are a few of the most common segments that our customers find successful. Prioritize setting campaigns to shoppers who have clicked on one of your messages recently, since they're most likely to make a purchase. Target customers who haven't purchased or clicked recently with win-back campaigns and discounts to come back and shop. Target these segments for upsells and cross-sells. For example, if you're a beauty brand, you could create a segment of foundation purchases and promote related products to help them complete their makeup look, like concealer or mascara. Reward customers with high lifetime spend or purchase frequency with your best offers. Your SMS platform should also have pre-built segments for you to choose from to make it easy for you to get started with segmentation. Then you can build your own customer segments later on. So what's the bottom line? Text messages that are tailored to your subscribers' wants and needs are more likely to inspire action and conversion. True SMS marketing is about engaging the entire audience in a strategic way rather than sending one message to everyone on your list and hoping it clicks. The rewards of this approach will pay off in dividends and a good SMS platform should make segmentation easy to execute. We're happy to help if you've got any questions.
In the meantime, if you found this useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more marketing tips. And if you're not using Attentive yet, we're always happy to help set up a free demo and chat through your SMS strategy. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.